hello to all the princesses. How are you all today? Well, we're great. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I was just listening to the banter. I couldn't obviously join in because I had no audio, but you guys have an absolutely fantastic bond um, with each other. And obviously that's uh, a bit evident um, from hearing the banter before the interview started, but also looking at um, the first couple of episodes that I've watched recently, you can tell that uh, you must have had a great time. Now, the reviews are out as well, because obviously it's out and you're getting some really, really good reviews. Um, do you, do the three of you ever reflect, have you ever had an opportunity to look at, watch the episodes yourselves together uh, or even singularly and ever reflected on your performances? Do you ever, are you ever critical or do you ever look back and think, well, you know, that was brilliant, or I could have done this better. The plan was to watch it all together. The plan <laughs> was for all of us to sit down and have a group screening and call family and friends. And then of course, um, in the cases start, the COVID cases started to rise in India yeah. and particularly in Mumbai at quite a staggering rate. And we had to stall all um, on ground promotions and we haven't been able to meet each other as well which is what we were just discussing before uh, you joined us. Uh, and so I watched it with um, my husband. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he uh, is probably, I've, I've got very critical people around me. My family and uh, my friends uh, insist on giving me feedback, even when I don't want it. I'm <laughs> just like, just watch the show. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, we watched it through and it's a comedy. He really enjoyed the performances. I think it's a beautifully unique setting, very colorful. When it comes to me personally watching myself on screen to answer your question, uh, I didn't cringe too many times. Once or twice when I was like, mm, few expressions, few angles, few cuts, few hairstyles, when I was like, uh, uh, but on the whole, because there's so much happening uh, and there's so many people to watch, you know, and you really get, I think, involved in what is happening on screen. Uh, it's it's so much more than just your particular performance. But there are a couple of times where all of us have important scenes where we get a moment to act and perform, especially with Nasir Saab, who plays our father. And I think I was quite happy with the way Lara did her scene <laughs> and Anya did her scene. And uh, I think we all did quite well. Lara, Anya, would you like to add anything to that? Please do. <laughs> Um, for myself, uh, one, I haven't done a lot of work, but the first time around when I do watch something that I have done, I watch it as a viewer, as opposed to like Anya criticizing or, you know, being critical of what she's done. And then I take like a month off and then I watch it again to actually understand where I could have um, improved or done something differently. You know, the one feedback that a lot of my friends have been telling me, and I'm saying this because you spoke about our bond and how we get along was they really enjoyed the scenes with all the sisters. And a lot of them said, I wish there was more of that. And that made me really happy uh, because we didn't know each other till we started shooting. So the fact that that bond comes across and they enjoyed it and wanted to see more of it, uh, very heartwarming. Lara, we come to uh, you. Yeah, well, I've obviously done a lot of work in 18 years, you know, but that doesn't stop you from being critical about what we do on screen. So um, I have watched, watched it with uh, family. And uh, I think in general, the takeaway was that it made for great family watching. Um, it had something for every single person. So whether it's your parents or my husband or, you know, anybody that was sitting around, there were characters that each of them related to. For myself, well, I'm always very critical about my work. Um, with this show in particular, you know, the character that I was given of uh, Devyani is, you know, somebody who is a perfectionist, who is quite serious, takes herself a little too seriously in life. Um, but God of Jagla, knowing that I built my career pretty much on doing a lot of comic uh, genre films, you know, wanted me to bring uh, the David Bhavan brand of comedy to this character. And I kept fighting him on, on that. I said, you've given me a character that's supposed to be the most serious of the four, you know, takes herself the most seriously. I mean, she can't be goofing around on screen with David Bhavan's brand of comedy. You know, so there was finding a fine line between uh, not making the character caricaturish. And uh, if I look at it now in hindsight with what what's, has happened, been done on screen, I think I'm quite happy with the way that I played Devyani. So I don't think I would have played her any differently. 
And like Soha said, that uh, the synergy between the four sisters, that was very important to maintain. Each of us has a very distinct character. And uh, I think we were able to do justice to that. So when I look at the show, if you're asking me personally, I think it's been brilliantly cast. Well, I, I completely agree. I'm on my sixth episode now and I've loved watching everything so far. I think, um, you know, uh, especially, you know, being a woman as well, um, seeing all your characters totally unique, not the usual, like you said, Lara, caricatured, um, you know, female Bollywood um, characters. Um, I love everything about them because it's so different from each other, yet they all complement each other. Um, now, I know that you all obviously um, uh, bonded really well, and this might be a bit of a tough question, but if you really had to choose who was your favorite princess character, who would you say is? Uh, well, I think all of us kind of agree in a way, um, all three of us really loved Princess Kamini's, uh, you know, entire, the way that the character was written and portrayed, because I think she was also possibly the most different character from any of us, the way that we are in real life. You know, so even, even where Kritika is concerned, very different from what Kritika is like in real life. And Kritika did uh, an incredible job with it, you know, but I think... Uh, I mean, the character was fun. She had some really, you know, fun, cool lines. So I think if any of us had to play a different character, well, I know I would. I would, love, I would have loved to have played uh, Princess Kamini. I don't think I would have made as good of Kamini as, uh, as Kutu Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Anya, yourself, do you agree? Uh, yes. Uh, we all uh, were fighting for Princess Kamini after our own characters in our mind. Not, not <laughs> anywhere else. She actually <laughs> Her punches, you know, her lines, the things that yeah. she said, does. It's just so ridiculous sometimes. It would have been so much fun to play that character. I think the ridiculousness of her, uh, yet she's still very enduring with all of that. And I think a full credit goes to Tritika for doing that with her character. She's the most fun one. But... Brilliant. And so, how would you like to add anything to that? Completely. I mean, her, the most memorable dialogue for me in the whole like show is her saying, Guys, my dad is dying. Follow me. You know, it was just like, <laughs> like who says that? But it was just so funny, uh, and she does it with so much sincerity. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's just a character that is completely unhinged in so many ways. You know, but also so endearing, so and so colorful. So I think all of us, we were talking about this in other interviews as well, that we would have really enjoyed playing her, and we really enjoyed watching her. Oh, wonderful. I think there's another character that you all obviously must enjoy and probably been um, lovely to be in their company, and that's your father's role, uh, Mr. Nasiruddin Shah, um, obviously an actor who's done global cinema. Um, so what I'd like to know is, describe your first day of shoot with him. Were you guys nervous uh, at all performing in front of him or, you know, what was it like? I think I would have had a panic attack, if not an anxiety attack, for sure. 110%. <laughs> I was my first day with the so I was excessively nervous. Like I was sweating, my hands were really sweaty. Uh, I fully meditated to like center myself and be like, you can do this, Anya. But I refused to leave the room. I was just like, I can't. So whenever they come and say, you know, there's a 15 minute delay, I'd be very happy. I'd be like, great. <laughs> I hope it gets delayed even further. But um, it was wonderful working with him because I remember after I did the scene with him, there were absolutely no barriers between both of us as actors or people. And uh, I just felt very light. And I felt like, okay, now I can do this. <clears throat> yeah. So how are all, all Lara, you can step in. Anything you'd like to add to that? Uh, well, uh, my first day with him, so I basically was the last actor to get onto set uh, because I was shooting Bell Bottom in Scotland and then I had to come back and quarantine and all of the rest of them were already there two weeks in advance because they were quarantining in Mandava, whereas I had to do mine in Mumbai. So by the time I got there, they had already spent about two weeks with each other and had broken the ice and gotten to know each other. And I hadn't worked with either Soha or Anya or Kritika before. Uh, so for me, it was a brand new cast. Neither had I worked with Nagubi Ji or Nasir Sir. And it's always daunting when you're stepping onto a set with actors who've never worked before because you're also trying to figure out their styles. You know, and it's a comedy. It's very hard um, 
when it's an ensemble cast, comedy is a lot easier when it's two or three people, but when it's six, seven people in a scene, it's all about timing, it's all about give and take. And uh, the first scene that I shot with him is when we walk into his room and we think he's dead, you know, and we all tell him secrets that we've never told him before because, well, we think he's dead and we're trying to figure out whether he's going to react to anything or not. Uh, you know, and while we were playing it all, I mean, it was just things that came instinctively, stuff that you want to do. And I tugged on his mustache <laughs> to see wow. whether that would wake him up, you know, which I think was edited, thank God. <laughs> but it was taking a huge liberty with an actor like Mr. Nasiruddin Shah, the very first day that I was working with him in my life, in my, you know, in my career. Uh, but I think, you know, he liked that. He actually chuckled and I, that was possibly why they had to cut it because he wasn't supposed to show a reaction. You know, so I don't think that he either knew what to really expect from the four girls. Uh, everyone was figuring each other out in the initial days, but I guess the ice broke between us really easily, between all of us. And uh, yes, he has a certain aura around him and he has a very commanding presence when he comes in. And of course, his seniority on set is unquestionable. And there's a lot of uh, respect. There's a lot of awe. You know, I think I would say the same with Raghubir sir. You know, but Raghubir sir has a, just has a softer persona. So you're not so frightened of him as much as you are of Mr. Sir. Um, but I think that ice broke really quickly with us. And I think he kind of figured out that, okay, I think this is going to be fun with these guys. And then he just went with the flow. And, and it was such an incredible pleasure working with him. Amazing. And uh, so what would you like to say? Uh, just that I was very excited to work with him. I mean, he's worked with everybody in my family. And I think I was the last to get the opportunity. And I definitely wanted to make a good impression for the family. <laughs> and um, I had my most important scene um, with him on the first day, which is the monkey bath, when you get an opportunity to connect with your father. And it was quite a difficult scene. So it wasn't really like we were doing an easy scene or there were other people in, in the scene. It was just him and me uh, and Raghu Biji was there in, in the background. And um, what I appreciated, about, I was of course very nervous. Uh, and I don't think I, I forgot to breathe between action and cut a couple of times. And it took me a moment or two to relax. Um, and then he is a very good teacher as well, apart from being a, a formidable actor, he really does impart uh, knowledge to you if you're interested. And um, all of us were. And I remember coming away from that scene, he even gave me a couple of uh, tips, not so much because it gets confusing. He uh, understood that there's only one director on set, um, but there were a couple of things that he did tell me about how to improve um, the way that I was delivering my dialogue as well. And it was done in a very respectful way. Uh, where he's not treading on anyone's toes. So I appreciated that as well. So I think if you have your ears and eyes open around somebody like that, you have no option but to come away richer for the experience. Wow, sounds amazing. Um, I wish I was on set with you. It sounds so much fun and also exhilarating and a lot of learning as well by the sound of things. But uh, I think that's my final question done. I know you guys have got loads more interviews. I just wanted to say, I absolutely love watching the six episodes that I've watched so far. What you guys have done is amazing, especially for women, because we want to see these kind of characters on screen and we don't get to see much of that in Hindi cinema. So what you guys are doing now and what you've brought for us uh, as an audience, um, fantastic. I love it. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the best with it. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you.